This is a platform. This is their chance. Have a, a very high quality experience and move on and contribute to society. I'm Robert Palazzo. I'm the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. So the college is composed of 19 departments, about seven programs and centers. It uh, represents uh, probably in the neighborhood of 65% of the academic enterprise of the university. The beauty of Birmingham and the beauty of this university is that there are so many students here who I would say are first in family to college and it's an, we, we work very hard to make uh, education affordable here at UAB. The uh, student faculty ratios are well maintained so that students get a lot of personalized instruction. Uh, we have the Alice Stevens Center for Performing Arts, which has been uh, operating for a number of years now. And our latest addition will be the Abrams Engels Institute for Visual Arts, which will be opening in January. So I think it's actually, uh, on balance, compared to other universities, a very strong appreciation and support for the arts here. And I certainly uh, have a very strong sense of the arts, although I am a scientist by training. I recognize the balance that it brings and the importance of uh, performance in terms of helping students build their own character and their own confidence. As a theorist, I was recruited to teach theory, composition, and arranging, orchestration, the typical theory canon. But one of the things that quickly began to uh, emerge was the need for giving students an opportunity to gain as many real world experiences. If I'm teaching orchestration in my classrooms, invariably they'd ask me about a project I was working on in uh, the real world, so to speak. Um, so as opposed to just teaching them orchestration uh, pertaining to Beethoven, Mozart, or Haydn, I began to incorporate my orchestrations for Stevie, Whitney, and Aretha. Well, I think that many times when we're teaching uh, music, we are absent of what may be taking place professionally outside of you know, traditional uh, music practices, church, schools, um, even in orchestras. But in the profession, uh, when I would go out and use notation software for transcribing uh, gospel for a church convention, uh, and recognizing that even though the tradition is based on rote, so many of the conventioners, and I'm talking about in the thousands, would really begin to buy my sheet music arrangements because it existed nowhere else. They couldn't get it anywhere else. I quickly began to recognize that we needed to find an opportunity to incorporate technology as a way of enhancing all those things that we were teaching our music students to do, be it scoring, be it notation, be it uh, arranging. What is crucial for us is that our students have an opportunity to, to incorporate these great tools from Avid, such as Pro Tools, Media Composer, and uh, Sibelius into their own work, recognizing that, that what they may do inside of a classroom really can have a wonderful transition into the professional world. Uh, and so th those are our goals, and I've seen that over the years in my own work. And in fact, I, I like to think that I'm a great musician or a good enough musician, but I know that it's because of the use of the technology that I've had the opportunities that I now have. Students need to have an experience in, in the real world, actually uh, creating and producing a material. And so with that comes the need for partnership and in letting industrial relationships draw on our talents and on our capabilities. So relationship with AVID certification programs where AVID is very much uh, an industrial standard and so per, uh, pervasively used, your platform is, is something that our students really, really need to become familiar with. 
uh, if they're going to be successful in their own careers and if they're going to create the highest quality art that they're capable of. They need to harness those technologies and understand them. Over the course of the four years that students will spend with us, they'll be able to be certified in Pro Tools, in Media Composer, and in Sibelius, and that can be very valuable as they move forward into the profession. So we're really glad that we have this partnership with Avid and it gives them the opportunity to, to not only get the skills, but also to have that certification that, that many people highly value in the industry. We have really always seen music technology as a tool, a, a way to make musicians better, a way to give them tools they didn't have before. It's not an end in itself for us as much as it is a, 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 an item in the toolbox that I think professional musicians everywhere are going to need to have. And to that extent, I mean, we offer a full music program and we're more and more a full music technology program. And that, that makes us, we think, kind of unique in the region. So one of the things that's a real benefit for our students is the facilities that we have here. And um, they begin, uh, you know, if I'm listing off the facilities that we have, we start with, with our music technology teaching lab. In that room we have 16 stations and all the stations are, are um, f outfitted with great software and hardware and really at any single station a student uh, is able to um, use all of the tools that professionals use in the production, uh, creation, distribution of music. Another facility that's uh, really helpful for our students is uh, uh, the lab where the computer music ensemble meets. We also have Pro Tools in that room and it's hooked up so that students can go in there. Uh, it's, it's like a musical playground and they can go in there and uh, we practice, perform and create music in there. It's the ultimate garage, uh, as it were, for that uh, band that wants to just go in there and create. And so that's really a benefit for our students. We're really excited about the recent uh, upgrade in our recording studio. Uh, the hub of that being the System 5 Fusion console. But on top of that, it's full with uh, uh, Media Composer and Nitrous support. And uh, this was necessary because as our students are even working in our labs, uh, being able to take full feature film length projects and edit them, you just have to have the processing power. One of the benefits of having uh, a teaching lab environment for the students is that not only do, do we have Pro Tools, but we also allow the students to have access to plugins that they may not otherwise have. We have the Pro Tools Instrument Expansion Pack, uh, which includes a lot of virtual instruments with incredible flexibility for sound design, uh, but also we're using Waves plugins, and we're using Spectrosonics plugins, and Mac DSP plugins, and those are things that can be extremely expensive for a student to try and purchase, and maybe over the course of four or five years into their career after they graduate, they might build up a collection of those kinds of things. But for them to be able to work on those tools uh, while they're here at the university is a great benefit for them. As universities struggle to fill the need that they're seeing as students come to them and ask for this kind of training, um, they, uh, they, they grapple with how do we prepare them, how do we, what kind of technology do we, do we need. In my research, I discovered that those schools uh, that use the industry products, that use Avid products for Pro Tools, for, for, for sound, for audio, and Media Composer for video, are the schools where their students are most successful. At the end of the day, they discover that if they've used um, other software, other hardware, when their students graduate, they have to learn those AVID tools that are industry standard anyway. And so the schools that teach that from the beginning and make that initial investment uh, really find that it's worthwhile for their students. We're probably in our 20th year where the technology has been available at the consumer level, going back to the advent of MIDI while it been uh, available. I believe that one of the greatest challenges, particularly with the exponential growth in the development of technology is making sure that it can be accessible to the masses. One of the things that is important to me uh, are some of the what we call pre-college academies that we set up around the country just so that young people can have an access, have access and just simply be exposed. Well I think the vision for the Department of Music, all of the arts, really all of the departments, is we have to 
uh, do a few things. One, we have to think more globally. Um, we can't think of ourselves as a regional or even a national university anymore. Uh, we're going to have to think of ourselves as an international university. And music is extremely well positioned in that because music has historically been an international exchange. So the ambassadorial component that music brings in terms of developing relationships is extremely strong. Number two, as we talk about technology, we're, we have to recognize that to, to achieve what we want to achieve uh, collectively is going to require more and more interdisciplinary programs and interactions. We're going to have to have musicians interacting with engineers that are interested in music, interacting with visual artists. They're going to have to understand another individual's discipline, not necessarily be the absolute expert in that field. They should be expert in their own field, but they have to be able to commingle. They have to be able to know uh, how to use, how to interact with those people to achieve a higher level than they could achieve alone. If you can imagine the university as a, a disparate set of instruments that have never played together symphonically and trying to bring that, all of that intellectual capital into a uniform performance or activity, that, that's what I think the challenge will be for universities.